Right, what's happening ladies and gents? So this is the video of us setting the boat up. Um, I've, I've already done an intro here, because we are going to go fishing, but we're going to make that fishing video a separate video. This one's going to be just all about the boat, how I blow it up, how I set it up, um, some key features about the boat, um, what it's made of and, and how it's made, and yeah, bits and bobs like that. So, so to some people it'd be the boring stuff, but other people it'd be the technical stuff. So. When you see these videos, a lot of people like to sort of fast forward them, but I'm not really going to bother. You guys are going to pretty much see everything. Oh, look, Steve's modelling just to make sure the camera's in the right place. That'll do. Um, so, the boat is up on the roof. I'm just going to get it off the roof, and, uh, yeah, we'll, 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 uh, we'll talk as we go. So bear with us for a minute, yeah? Oh, good work, Steve. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Get out of here. Alright guys, so this is the Hydrus from inflatableboatfishing.com. Um, it's 3.7 metres, it's uh, airfloor, sorry, air deck. It's made from 1.2 millimetres of uh, PVC. There was a special name for it, but I can't remember. Special PVC. The tubes on the inside, because obviously because there are tubes on the inside of the PVC. They're, um, they're velcro together, so they, so they stay together inside, even when the boat's not blown up. Right, if we get her out a bit, so, yeah, that's it, lovely, lovely. Splendid. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll, get, we'll start blowing it up and then I'll show you a few more bits and bobs. So, in fact, Steve, do you mind holding the camera for a minute? Just come. We're going a bit closer now. Uh, so pump wise, all I use is one of these. This is just a cheap airbed pump. I've got, I've got, I've been in the back of the car. Oh, hold on, I should start my car. So yeah, this is gonna be sort of for anyone thinking about in a sieve. This is all I use. I've doctored the end with a, with a knife and then all it does is just literally sits on a valve and it blows it up most of the way for me. Not all of the way. You can get pumps that do that, blow it all the way up, but they're expensive. This was 15 quid. And it's quick. that's not blown up but that is one tube there and it'll be the same on the opposite side of the boat and then there's one tube that goes around the middle so three tubes um, and there is actually a video on uh, on YouTube where a fella not in this boat he was out on a different brand of boat again three tubes um, there was two of them on there fishing gear engine and they they done the test of whether boats could withstand having tubes punctured because obviously everybody's scared about sticking a nook in it sticking a knife in it um, but the chances of you puncturing all three tubes while you're fishing are very slim. Um, in fact, the chances of you puncturing any tubes while you're fishing, unless you're an absolute noddy, again, are very slim. Um, obviously accidents happen, but if you was to pump the front tube, you'd still get back. Either side tube, you'd still get back. Um, I wouldn't advise you to carry on fishing if you punctured a tube, but um, you'd make it back, you wouldn't get wet. Um, and also, what you've got to remember is they're not a balloon. It's not like a balloon if you stab it and it just pops. This will just this will just make a hole and it will let air out. So if you've got something like some strong gaffer tape on the inflatable bait, which on the inflatable bait fishing website they sell um, like magic patches if you like. 
you just peel the sticky back plastic off, stick it over the hole, as long as it's small, and it's a temporary fix. It will get you home without, well, well without sinking. Right, let me just blow these other two tubes up. Ah, Steve, because we dragged the boat a bit closer. Maybe not drag it. No, we won't drag the boat. Lift it. They do, they do the hardest in three sizes. Comes in a 3.3 meter air deck, like this one. It comes in a, uh, this isn't a 3.7, but they do an air deck like this one. And they do the 3.7 meter, like this, this is a 3.7 in an air deck and an alley deck. They also do a four meter in just an alley deck. Um, they all come with a bow roller system on the front, a standard, which I think is amazing. It's, it's so much easier, normally, when I've had sibs in, the, sibs in the past, I always tie my anchor to this handle here, and it's well, it's not as effective as having a, having a proper anchor hitch and a bow roller on the front of your boat, it's ideal. Um, right, let me just pull this last one up. Right, and there we have it, pretty much there. So, from then on, that is, well, there you go. There's your basic shape of the boat. Um, obviously it needs air. This is a good looking boat as well. I've got to say, it is a good looking boat. Um, it'll look even better when it's, not, when it's blown up. So, next part is the floor. Come on. Hey Dan. No, I'm all good mate. Just what happens when you pack the car bad. Well not bad, but chuck everything on top of the stuff you need next. So I have actually got a trailer now guys. All I've done is I've bought just a little box trailer um, and I do plan on converting it into a trailer for the sim. But you know how that is. It's one of them jobs that needs to be done but there's a million other jobs in front of it. So this is the floor. The floor comes separate so you can take it out completely and you've got obviously it, it helps out with weight. That rolls like that and then you've got the hole there for that. So what I would do, well what I do do is I blow the boat up firstly with the air pump. If you blow it up solid you'll never get in, or you'll never get the seat top. So you need to be doing these jobs now. The floor sort of just tucked in there. Comes right to the back, tucked in, tucks in either side of the tube underneath the cracks. I'm, I hope I'm not making this too boring guys, but I'm literally trying to show you everything. 
the way we do it. Um, yeah, sometimes it is a bit of a ball ache setting the boats up, but for 25 minutes now, we're going to have such a good day's fun out of the boat, hopefully catching. To be honest, the way the weather is today, even if the fishing's not great, it'd just be nice to be out of the water. Right, so that's your boat, your floor, all tucked in. That goes there. Lovely. So you can see that again now, the floor gets inflated and then the, the, uh, the rib in the middle gets inflated and you'll see what that's for in a second. So, where is this? My, um, my little boom. Can we go forward like a five mil? Oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry guys. Like I say, you can buy pumps that will pump it up all the way and it'll, you, can, you can set your desired pressure. They're about 130, 140 quid. For me, 15 quid, an extra five minutes of pissing about, I'd rather do that. <laughs> See how that pushed itself out. There's a few boats going out there now, don't see that. Lock's just emptied out. Yeah. Lovely. Don't think. I'm gonna have to use the pump. Right, so that for now, that is it for that one. And then what I'll move on to next is the foot pump because then I can push as much pressure into it as well. What I'll do is I'll probably cut the video for a minute. Hold on. So now what I'll do is I'll go around the whole boat and finish 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 blowing it up with one of these. Um, no, it's not ideal, but I know now I can get this boat as solid as I want with this. And it's I don't know another five minutes, one to five valves, um, a few pumps, and we'll be there. So what I'll do is because that'll get boring, I'll cut the video now and I'll bring you back in a sec. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are nearly there. Just having the last one. I'm going to give it ten more goes, and that's me done. Um, I don't like to think that it's actually going in the tube but it doesn't sound like it is because my pump's rubbish no it's pretty solid that'll do us right then so she's all blown up so so far I think Steve said the last bit of recording we've done was about 13 minutes and to go around and finish it off with the pumps probably take me another 5 so there she is she's all blown up looking splendid as you can see now the front is raised off the floor and the reason being the uh, the keel on the inside. You see that? Oh, sorry. In there, that gives it, makes it so we can get it up on the plane, gives it the rigidity um, that it needs. So, just a few more few more facts about the Hydras. Um, if you bought a brand new one from Inflatable Boat Fishing, they all come with two oars, two seats, they come with two bags, they come with a foot pump, they come with a uh, repair kit, and they uh, there's, there's a three year warranty on all materials. So the seats, sorry, I didn't show you the seats, I was supposed to, but the seats basically, they've got little clips under there, hopefully you can see that, little clips under there and they just slide along this rail, so you can literally move them anywhere you want. It's a bit hard to move them when the boat's fully blown up because it keeps it solid. So, then you've got the oars. Now the oars come in two pieces, just like this. Like that, lovely, you see that Steve, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then obviously, uh, it's good for, for transporting, um, and then this is where the oars sit so they go outside the boat so it just gives you a bit more room on the inside of the boat obviously um where's the hole can't find the hole Steve. that's what she said 
So that goes on there like that. Stop the units here. On your rollocks. And then obviously screw the cap back on. And then uh, that clips in there. And vice versa with the other side. Um, so yeah, that is, that is the boat pretty much. Um, at the minute, Carlo, um, the owner, of his bloke weight fishing. Um, it's literally just had a delivery of the new Hydras. This is the original Hydras, this is the number one. Um, and he's just had a he's just had a big delivery of the, the Mark III actually. They, I think they arrived in port yesterday because um, he's got a little tracker on the ship that they've came from. Um, now, all of them ones from this batch have actually sold out. Um, but he has got another another load coming in May and I think to pre-order something like this is about £100 down I'm not sure on the, on the exact price because all the, obviously all the sizes are different um, but I do know that on, on the website they sell everything to do with boats so obviously the boat then they sell things like safety equipment like VHF radios which is a massive must when you're, when you're out, on a, well, out on any sea faring vessel whether it be a kayak or a boat or uh, uh, an inflatable boat, sorry, or anything. So yeah, he also sells life jackets, again, which is a must. Um, absolutely anything and everything. All the Railblazer components, now Railblazer, they do things like mobile phone attachments, GoPro attachments, they do things for, uh, they do rod holders, they do all sorts, and it is, it is literally all on the website. Um, now, he did mention to me yesterday that if you buy a boat and engine package, it's giving away a free set of wheels, which are 130 quid, so it's a bit of a saving there. Uh, and I'm sure if you're spending that sort of money, you, you'd probably be able to have a bit of a deal on a few other bits, like extra Railblazer bits, and I'm sure we could chuck you a bit of discount. Sorry, Carlo, but I'm sure you can. <laughs> um, so, yeah, other than that, that is it. So what we'll do now is we'll stop it there, we'll get the boat down to the water, and then, because I'm gonna obviously going to carry everything else down separate, the engine, fish finder, battery, and all them sort of bits. When we get down there, I'll show you the last few bits, and then we'll be off fishing, finally. Right guys, here we are. Just <laughs> um, yeah, look at this water, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's now getting a bit deep, Steve. I'm not going to come back to it. No, I'm alright. Yeah, you're alright, but I'm not. No, you're fine, yeah? I've got to get in yet. Yeah, I know. Um, alright. Yeah, guys, that is. No, yeah, look, we've got to get close up here. Yeah? Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. I'm still in the stage of sorting stuff out and putting stuff where it's got to go, but that is. That is the setup. Um, oh, here we go. As well, one more thing. Oh, there's a battery in it, Steve. This. Yes. So, big shout out from um, from Kevin from uh, Angling Anxiety for donating the fish finder to me. So, this is literally the fish finder, all set up, ready to go. That just clips in the transom. The um, transducer's in the water all the time, and then obviously the fish finder, and then it just gets connected up to like a little 12 volt motorbike battery. So, let me just quickly stick that on, show you how easy it is. And these are all the accessories you can buy. All these accessories can be bought from inflatableboatfishing.com. Uh, from Carlo, there's uh, there's not just a website, but there's a there's a fishing group as well. Um, so you know you're on the right one. That logo is the the profile picture on that Facebook Facebook group. Obviously, there's there's up there are other ones, but there's only one really worth being on because there's like seven or eight thousand members and yeah, happy days. Right, guys. We will see you soon.